Hey everybody, Blue here. First off, before I get started, I want to thank everybody for the feedback that I'm getting. Even though we're a little channel right now, I appreciate all the feedback. I'm glad I'm able to teach and help people. Um, this is going to be kind of a weird video. It's actually two videos smashed into one. The first one's kind of a uh, small tour of uh, this land that we've got a hold of that I'm allowed to be on. Uh, a friend of mine owns it, and there's like 200 acres with uh, a lot of woods, a lot of edibles, stuff like that. You'll get to see that in the video. The second part is this grease lamp that my wife made me on her potter's wheel. It's made out of uh, clay and it's been fired and glazed and all that. And I will uh, show you this in the video also. And we'll go from there. Stay with me. Hey everybody, Blue here. Um, just going to do kind of a different video. I'm actually at a location where I've been allowed to practice my skills and craft. I'm actually camping out here tonight. And I've literally got 200 acres of wooded area and field to practice. And I've already started identifying possible wild edibles. I've got you know, there's a black walnut tree here behind me. Over there and over here I see some goldenrod. You can make tea out of that, I know that. Uh, Queen Anne lace is over there. Got cattail back over in this area. And even have tried wild lemongrass while I was out here. So and I'm sure there's berry bushes and I've seen acorns. There's a creek right over here. It's kind of dried up right now because it's been trying to dry this season where we're at right now. So yeah, when you get out to your spot, get out and actually like study it, learn it. Just don't find a place and throw up your shelter. Get out there and enjoy it. Here's a um, part of the creek. It runs back, I don't know if you can see it. It used to be an old farmland, so it actually runs under where I'm standing. So there's a water source. Hey everybody, so I'm Still exploring. Oh wow, this is a huge field. Yeah. This is insane. This is awesome. up here it's kind of a hill I'll get on top of it it's not a big hill some red clover right there So if you can see behind me, you're probably just seeing nothing but me. I'll do a different shot where you can see it. So here is the grease lamp. I just used lamp oil, piece of cotton string, took it camping with me. It lit up a large area around camp, so if you needed to walk around and manage stuff around camp at night, and it was your only candling device, it would do the job that needed done, so you wouldn't need a flashlight or anything else. 
Um, yeah, it puts off a little bit of heat. I use it in my shelter. I can feel the heat in the shelter from it. And it lit up my shelter where I can manage all my gear at night if I needed to. Here's a picture of the shelter I stayed in. And here is a picture of it being lit up inside the shelter. Picture doesn't do it justice. Like it was like having a flashlight in there. You could see everything you needed to see. So it's just a simple design. Yeah, I just wanted to share the grease lamp with you. I might do a video more in depth on it later, but there it is.